Lillian, the, the youth minister walks into the room and there are those wonderful, amazing, but quite diverse kids. And you want to believe when you come in, I know something about them. I know what they need. I know what they want. Ready? I'm a minister here. But youth council, that's not always the right approach. Uh, I, I find that kind of youth minister the one who says, let me tell you what the youth want. And usually they're very effective at lecturing adults and making the adults feel like idiots, you know, because they know what youth want. They don't know what youth want. Youth are just people. And so they don't all want like a Bible with a skateboarder on it. They don't all want like, you know, somebody who, who has little glasses, you know. They don't all want the same thing. Like it doesn't all have to be like the mountain climber or somebody doing something like outdoorsy, right? Um, so an example would be, you know, when people say, oh, well, you know, the young people really like such and such music. I mean, do you remember when you were a young person? Did every young person like the same kind of music? Or did you take some pride in the fact that you didn't like the same music everybody else liked? So like, you know, what would change? Um, and I've fallen into it too. I mean, when we had our summer intern program in high school and college youth get to try out ministry for a summer and work in the church and they lead worship and they, they give a sermon. And uh, I was sort of excited to have them on board for a lot of reasons, but one was I thought, well, they're not gonna wanna wear these robes and I don't particularly wanna wear my robe in the summer. So we can all go without robes and, you know, because that's what the kids would like. They want to be more casual, right? And at the end of the first summer, um, one of the criticisms they had of the program was they said a great disappointment was that they didn't get to wear the clerical robes. And I was shocked, you know. And the next year we had these, these guys who are like six foot two and they're 19 years old and they're so excited to be going through our clergy robes and trying on all the robes. And we had to go out and get some like six foot two guy clergy robes for the kids to wear because for them that was something exciting but also meaningful. They liked the pomp and circumstance. They liked the tradition.